Welcome to chapter seven. In this chapter, I wanna give a quick look at several different add-ons that are included, included with Blender that can give you additional functionality that you may be missing. The first one that I wanna look at is the dynamic spacebar menu. So first of all, to enable add-ons, just go to the file menu, choose user preferences, and then in the add-ons tab, you can see all the different add-ons that are included with Blender by default. You can also install new add-ons, and these are nothing more than Python scripts that are generally written by the community and distributed for free. Uh, there are a couple of commercial add-ons that are available, but predominantly most of them are uh, Creative Commons license, and you can just download them, use them as you wish for any project uh, free to use. So we have several different support level, uh, official, community, and testing, and these are just merely categories to help filter out basically uh, official ones or ones that are guaranteed by the Blender Foundation to work are included with the build or the latest version. The community are more community submitted ones that generally are pretty good support but are not necessarily vouched for but are still included. And then testing are ones that are still under review but again still included for you to use but just be a little bit more wary of them. Uh, we've got all of our different categories here. Uh, for our different add-ons and in this case what I want to do rather than looking through the categories I'm merely just going to search for all of them and I'm just going to choose dynamic spacebar menu so real quick here um, Remember that the spacebar menu just brings up our search fu function and this is a really really great feature because it allows us to very quickly you know get through anything if we want to just say add cube we can add a cube if we want to say toggle quad view, we can type in quad view, choose toggle quad view, and there we have it. So very, very quick, easy way to access just about anything in Blender. But some of you may want to have, you know, more support for it. Say, you know, maybe from the spacebar, you want to have more of a context menu that then gives you access to other tools. Well, that's what the dynamic spacebar menu does. If we toggle this down, we can see what it does. It adds it to the 3D view. It's a context sensitive spacebar menu, and we can see the author and the version. We can also link directly to the wiki or report a bug on this add on. So if we just click the checkbox to enable it, we can then go back here. And now when we hit the spacebar, we then have our extra menu here that, first of all, we can get back to this uh, search menu if we just choose search, and then we can do whatever we wish. Or we also have any other things in here, such as we have now our object menu, or transform menu, mirror menu parent, add modifiers. So very quickly, we have a lot of tools at hand that otherwise we didn't have that you would either have to go over here, go over here, use a hotkey, or that maybe weren't even accessible uh, immediately without using the search bar. And the other thing to note is that it's context sensitive. So here we have our various functions in object mode. But if we go into edit mode, which by the way, it does have a function there to just enter edit mode, we then have our our other context tools. So we now add mesh rather than add objects. We've got our snap cursor menu. We've got multi-select mode. So this extends these features down here and has some preset ones for uh, vertex and edge, vertex and face, or edge and face, or all of them together. Uh, we've got our edit mesh tools, such as vertices, edges, and faces, which normally are accessed via these hotkeys. Or our normals, if we want to recalculate inside or outside or flip the normals or our loop cut tool real quick uh, get access to and then some of our other ones such as extrude our specials menu which is normally accessed with w uv mapping select menu so a lot of, of, our, of our primary tools just immediately at hand via the dynamic spacebar menu um, very very cool and again it's context sensitive depending on the mode that you are in one thing to note with add-ons is that when you enable it, this is a user setting. And so if you load up a new file or open a different file, you will not necessarily have these loaded in because it's not saved as your default. Uh, and so you just need to enable it and then save as default. The other thing to remember though, that I warned you in the beginning that Blender does have a slightly funky way of handling user preferences where when you save as default, it also saves your scene, including any models that you have loaded. And so generally, if you want to set your user defaults, load up a fresh file, set them how you want, and then save as default. This is under development to change in the near future, but for the time being, just be aware of the slightly cumbersome workaround. Not very cumbersome as long as you know it's there. So that's the dynamic spacebar menu.